Welcome back to the Transform Your Mind to Transform Your Life, the podcast. This is Life Coach Marina Young, and you are listening to 5-Minute Fridays with Coach Marina. Today, I want to talk on the topic, the dangers of holding grudges. And I want to use as my foundational story, the story of Herodias, Herod's wife, and the grudge she held against John. So in Mark chapter six, um, uh, the Bible teaches us that Herodias, Herod's wife, bore a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. But without Herod's approval, she was powerless. So she waited like a serpent for her time. And it came when her daughter pleased the king with her dance and he promised her anything she wanted. So when she went and asked her mom, mom, what should I ask for? The mom said, ask for John the Baptist's head. So the the daughter went back to the king and said, I want John the Baptist's head. And because um, Herod promised her in front of everyone, he had to grant her wishes, even though he didn't really want to. So this plays out in the modern world in this form. You say something innocently and someone takes offense and secretly plots to harm you. Nobody's cutting off anyone's head these days, but a well-placed word in the right ears and you don't get that promotion. Or your best friend spreads something about you that you told her in confidence just to shame you because she held a grudge while pretending to be your friend. So in the intricate tapestry of human relationships, Grudges can often emerge as toxic threads that poison the bonds we share. How many of you know that if you're holding a grudge, you you can't have a proper relationship, whether the grudge is, is known or you're secretly hiding it, right? So um, the Bible introduces us to this complex dynamic between Herod Tipas, the ruler of Galilee, and John the Baptist, a fearless preacher and prophet. You know, the backstory is Herod had married Herodias, his brother's wife, which was against Jewish law and morality, and John spoke out about it. He fearlessly denounced this union, prompting Herodias to harbor a deep-seated grudge against him. She probably knew it was wrong too, but she didn't want anybody else saying it. <laughs> so that's how this all started. So Herodias' judge against John festered in her heart, eventually leading to a chilling decision. She wanted him dead. (laughs) The accumulation of her anger and resentment compelled her to hatch a sinister plot to kill John. However, her nefarious intentions were thwarted by a crucial factor. Herod's reluctance to give his approval for John's execution. She couldn't do it alone, right? Herodias' desire to harm John it reveals a stark reality about judges, about grudges. They have the potential to blind individuals to reason and lead them down treacherous paths. And sometimes, not always, but the weapon that they formed against you boomerangs right back at them, right? <laughs> So holding judge, um, grudges can distort our perceptions, obstruct our ability to make some decisions, and fetter us to feelings of helplessness. It is a useless emotion. You've heard the saying that unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. So that's what's going on with the grudge. You holding this secret grudge, right? with bad feelings and bad thoughts towards someone else, and they're happily going on with their lives. And you're the one that's suffering. You're the one that's going to have health issues because of that negative energy that you're holding inside. And you can't do anything to them. You can plot to kill them. You can hope that they fall down and hit their head, but you have no control over it. So you are actually drinking the poison and expecting the other person to die, right? So the only way through that is forgiveness, right? 
like I said, a lot of times you're holding a grudge against someone that doesn't even know that they offended you. They were just going about their lives and maybe said something that you held as inappropriate, right? So forgive them. Believe that nobody does anything that they believe is wrong, right? Chances are it wasn't even personal. By letting go of grudges, we free, free ourselves from the shackles of bitterness and open the door to personal growth and re reconciliation. All that energy that you're putting towards this person by holding a grudge, use that energy to elevate yourself, to, do, to have a better life for yourself, right? If someone said something bad about you that you don't like, prove them wrong, right? That's what you do. So forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, but a courageous step towards breaking the cycle of resentment. The tale of Herodias and John serves as a potent reminder of the dangers inherent in holding on to grudges. It urges us to reflect on the impact of resentment in our lives and relationships and encourages us to choose forgiveness as a powerful means of transcending negativity. Just as Herodias' grudge proved to be her downfall, our own capacity for forgiveness can lead us towards greater understanding, empathy, and a more harmonious existence. Get rid of the, the grudges. It does you no good. All right. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I just wanted to let you know that, you know, forgive someone that said something inappropriate to you. It could have been a joke. They didn't mean it. Nobody wants to get your head. <laughs> if they're trying to get your head, then maybe you have some reason to hold a judge. But I'm going to guarantee you that 99.9% .9 of the time, it was just an innocent comment. So move on with your life. You know, work on your growth and your expansion so that you can transform your life. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of 5-Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. If you're listening to this on YouTube, would love for you to subscribe. If you're listening to this to iTunes, would love for you to subscribe, plus rate and review. Until next time, namaste.